Hi guys, I'm back again. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Um, my my computer was doing something very funny, um, but uh, I was able to fix it. All right, so are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, no yes. Okay, I'm so sorry. So, but thank you very much for for Don't worry. Um, so, uh, how are you guys been? Pretty good. Yes, good. Okay. Good. good. Okay. Excellent. Um, so guys, um, well, I don't want to be wasting too much time more than I have already. <laughs> so what we're going to do, um, is, uh, do you remember yesterday I asked you guys to, uh, make some sentences. Everybody did the sentences. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yeah, any questions? Anything that you didn't, that you didn't, um, that you didn't understand, something you wanted, you want to take a look at? No. So class? So everybody, everybody understood how to make the sentences? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good, excellent. All right, guys, in that case, what we're gonna do, um, uh, we're gonna have the sentences ready. Everybody has the sentences ready with you? Yes. Yes, okay, good, excellent. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to get you to work in, uh, in groups, just like uh, last time. Um, and what I need you guys to do is share share your comparisons uh, with your with your group okay so you're gonna um, say your your sentence whatever it is that you are comparing and your partners are going to tell you if they agree or they don't agree with you so to give you an example if i say to you um i don't know uh teachers are um no, or better said Working as a teacher is more uh, demanding than working as a librarian. You know, you understand what a librarian is? Everybody understands what a librarian is? No? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you write it in okay. the chat? Librarian are people that work in a library. And the library is a place where you, uh, yes. you can uh, borrow books, right? So if you want to read a book, right, you take the book from, from the library and you can take it home and then read it. And when you're finished, you take it back to the library. So maybe we can say, for example, uh, being a teacher is more demanding than being a librarian. Now, you, if you were in my group, you would say, yes, I agree, or no, I don't, I don't agree with that. So remember, these are different opinions. So you may not have the same opinion as your classmate, and that's okay, right? The, we don't all have to agree. The idea here is for us to be able to um, share your ideas with your classmates. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys to work in, in groups. But before anything, we understand what we have to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, wonderful. All right, so go ahead. Uh, I'm going to make the groups. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make four groups of three people each. Okay. Let's see. And I'm going to give you, let's see. Yeah, I think 10 minutes. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes for you to um, okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and you can you can go and join ahead and join your group.
is for me is more difficult because you study mathematics and um, numbers number and medicine is is more real reading mm -hmm. many books and i think it depends you depend your if you like the numbers and about number. your habits right yeah <laughs> but to me but the problem of medicine if the the career is is longer than yeah, you take more years, right? Yeah, but in that part, it's it's more difficult. Okay, oh, Oscar is waiting. He says okay. studying engineering is more difficult than studying medicine. Yes, to me, yes, it's <laughs> more difficult. Okay. Any question, guys, of uh, the activity? Anything you want to ask about? Um, not to me, teacher. No? It's yeah. okay, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, Oscar is having trouble with the microphone, so he's writing at the camera. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. Yeah, but we are fine. Yeah, I can see his messages. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. What you can do, Oscar, if you'd like, uh, you can uh, log out of Zoom and then log back in, and that's probably going to help with the microphone. Um, so you could try that, and then I'll, I'll when you log in, I will send you back to to uh, the group number one, if you'd like. If not, then I yeah. Okay. All right. So you can go ahead and and. Um, disconnect and then come back in. No? Okay. All right. So what I'll just do then is um, and help the other groups. All right. And, um, if you guys need any help, you can just request it, okay? Thank you. And I'll send you back Oscar when, when, when he comes back in. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, Josue, can you continue? But if but if you want. Let's continue. Okay. So number two, Luis Mesa. And you, and you. My number two. I'm, I'm the next? Okay. Um, be, be in a drive, a taxi driver is dangerous, is more dangerous than be a, a Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. Account. Yes, I'm agree. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. More in this country because, yeah, being a driver is, you know, is more probably that you can have many, in many ways, yeah. uh, risk. Yeah, in an accident. With the teeth. Uh, yeah. With the teeth. Juan Manuel. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Just, just um, if I could ask, could you repeat what you said there? Um, that it's more what? More dangerous. No, Juan dangerous. Manuel said something before. What? I don't know. What What was it that you said? Your sentence right now. Mean? Just what you repeat it. Uh, being a, a taxi driver is more dangerous than being a a, a count. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, but Juan Manuel was saying something. Sorry. Yeah, that is is very dangerous in many ways because okay. yeah. uh, it's it's 
Uh, I don't know how to say probable. Probably. Probably. Okay. Probable. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, it's more probable that uh, being in many ways in risk. Uh, um, so uh, uh, a few months or maybe weeks, I saw a news about that. Um, many, many, in, in this case, uh, Ubers, many, many drivers uh, disappear or, or uh, they was found uh, dead. They were found dead. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah, exactly. That's that's exact. That's that's very good. Okay. Actually, uh, Juan Manuel, the reason why I was asking you is because, um, yeah, I heard that word, um, that word probable, right? So you could say it is more probable, right? Um, okay. It would okay. be like an adjective, right? Or you could also say there is more probability, uh, but you have to make oh. sure. There, you say the verb to be. There is more probability. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Do you guys have okay. any questions you want to ask? Thanks. You're welcome. No, no. No? Okay. No. All right. Well, if you guys need any help, I'll uh, just add, just um, go ahead and, and, and ask for my help and I'll come back. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go to the other groups and help them out. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, bus driver is um, more stressful than work as a baker. Mm, repeat, please. Work as a uh, bus driver is more stressful than work as a baker. Uh, Diana, oh. very good sentence. Uh, now, you're starting with the word work, but in this case, uh, we're not, it's not work as an, a verb, it's work as a, as a subject. So in that case, we need to make it a gerund at the beginning. So what would it be, Diana? Uh, I said work as a bus driver. Good, okay, but it can be work as a bus driver. It would be? The gerund, what is the gerund of work? Uh, working. working? Yeah, exactly. Working as a bus driver. Dri mm -hmm. So you want to try that again, Diana? <laughs> working as a bus driver is more stressful than working as a bike baker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Very good. good. Do you have any other okay. questions? Um, Teacher, I have a question. Um, I couldn't be in the class yesterday. Um, we can use any career? Uh, yeah, I, my instructions were for the homework that you can um, talk about the careers in your family. Um, so that oh, means that okay. uh, anybody that is like, you know, if there are like, I don't know, um, bakers okay. in your family, sure, go talk, go ahead and talk about bakers. Uh, if there are, um, I don't know, singers in your family, go ahead and talk about singers, right? So that's. I would like to, I would like to sing with my family. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay, does that answer your question? No, no, no. No. It's okay for me. No, I mean, does that answer your question? Yes. Oh, for, for, for Diana. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Diana, yeah. Answer your question? <laughs> yes, teacher. Thank okay, you. Okay, good. Any other questions? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can just um, call me back. I will um, I will come back and help you. Okay, so I'll just right now I'm just gonna go and help the other groups. No, 
Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, continuous. Who's next? I wanted to go, they say, I wanted to go. That's the thing, right? Or they say, I'm going to go. They also say, I'm going to go. And that's the thing. Sometimes if you don't know that, that kind of words, you can't understand it. Yes, because it's so deep to understand. Yeah, for example, there is uh, an slang is I don't I, I remember that is I would go bananas. Have you ever heard it? Yes, that's a idiom. Yes, yeah. I would go bananas. It's like I would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that means that. Or, or like. Uh, yeah. Once in a blue moon. Sorry? Once in a blue moon. Have you heard it? No, I have never heard. No. Once in a blue moon is like never. Never, never, never. Yeah. <laughs> it's, once it's in a, a little blue bit moon. crazy, right? Yes. Actually, once in a blue moon is uh, what it means is more uh, like uh, rarely, like Exactly. It's not that it never happens, but it's very rare that it happens. Because you know what a, a blue moon is? You literally what a blue moon is? Because blue moons do exist. Do you know what they are? No? Nobody? No. no. Okay. No. I'll, I'll explain what it is. It's actually, we call blue moons to those types of moons that... Um, they okay for example it, let's say that at the beginning of the month there is a there is a full moon okay so imagine there is a full moon at the beginning of the month okay. um so in 30 days or, or um we will have another full moon so let's say that this month well this month is only 30 days but oh no i'm sorry 30 31 days okay so let's say that October thir October 1st, there was a full moon. On okay. October 31st, there would be another moon, another full moon. And that second full moon is called a blue moon. So, <coughs> excuse me, it's a phenomenon that happens very rarely because it's not very common to have two full moons in one month. Okay. So that's why it's called once in a blue moon, because we're saying it happens, but not very rare, not very often. Okay. okay? Does that yeah. help? Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. now I get it. Like hardly ever, right? Uh huh. It's like hardly uh -huh. ever. Yeah, okay. that's right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it, yeah, there are a lot of idioms and expressions in English that are very yeah. you know, different. Very crazy. <laughs> yeah. As I like. I like because in Spanish, I used to use the dichos or refranes. Yeah. Like idioms. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every, every, um, every language has its own things, right? Um, uh, like in Spanish, actually, literally, once in a blue moon translates to something like Ayala Quinientas. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, yeah. how long um, understanding understanding English um, take you? Do you take you? Me personally or in yes. general? No, you. Well, nothing. <laughs> because okay. uh, the thing is that for me, English is my first language. Okay. So for me, I didn't really learn English. Um, I learned Spanish at home. Okay. So it was more the, the Spanish that I learned. Um, but I'll tell you something. I didn't know Spanish very well uh, when I came to El Salvador. I mean, I did know it, but I wasn't very fluent. And it was very difficult for me to... Uh, to get my ideas across. So 
I remember at the beginning, I struggled a lot. I struggled a lot. And um, when I when found out, w- or better said, when the, the, like, I started practicing every day and every day, and then it got easier. And like probably six months later, I was quite fluent. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it takes time. But the more practice you have, the better it'll get. I, I yes, choose. I imagine. Do you, you guys have get any questions? Sorry? Do you have any questions? Um, no. Uh, well, uh, about them, um, about them. Um, um, we we were um, talking about, we were discussing about the Claudia sentence. Could you see it on the chat? Uh, sure. Let's see what the chat has for us. We, we were discussing about Ready? if the sentence um, in, in the case of the verb demand all, is only missing a S or what? Um, actually, guys, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I can't see the chat because I can't see anything that happened before I came. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. If you want, I can. Okay. That is. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I see it. Being a hairstylist demands more creative than being a secretary. Okay. Uh, yes, that's correct. That's a good sentence. Um, just make sure that we have the S at the end. Because okay. here we're talking about uh, that. The, 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 the job. So being yeah. a hairstylist, that job demands more creativity yeah. than being a secretary. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay. That's excellent. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. No. No? Okay. All right. I'm going to go um, help another group because they're asking for help. Uh, and uh, if you guys need any help, I'll be around. Just just um, call for, for my help and I'll, I'll come. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. In the meantime, continue practicing. Okay. <laughs> nice okay. thing to know. The teacher is here. Teacher. Hi. You asked uh, for we, uh, Yes, we have some question. The question number one is, how should we say it? Um, a mechanic doesn't earn more money than a doctor or a mechanic does not earn as much money as a doctor. Which one is the correct one? Uh, if you want to compare, it would be the second one. Okay, uh, yeah. so okay. That's the second one. And we also have another question. Maybe okay. you can tell to the teacher, please. Uh, uh, my, my sentence. Yes, your sentence. Okay. Being a surfer is is more funny. I don't know how to say. Or funniest. We don't know. Funniest or more funniest <laughs> than being a a count. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I don't know. Uh, I don't I'm know going, how to say. Yeah, I'm going to to answer this question. I'm actually going to use the whiteboard. Okay. Okay, because this okay. is actually a very common mistake uh, for for many students. Um. So. Uh, I noticed that that's something that many people need help with. So that's why I'm going to be using, I'm going to explain it better on the board. Okay. There are two verbs, that, sorry, there are two adjectives in English that you should not, um, you should not use, which is funny and fun. Okay. They look the same, but they are not the same. Let's clarify that. Okay. Now, what is okay. funny? Okay. In Spanish, Divertido. tell me what is funny. Divertido? Nope. See, and that's where the confusion comes from. Diversión? Nope. I'm not sure. Any other ideas? Funny is something that makes you laugh. 
Okay. So we could say like in Spanish. Gracioso. What was that? Gracioso. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Gracioso or chistoso. We would probably, uh, if it's uh, yeah. probably easier if you, if you translate as chistoso. So think about that. Funny is chistoso. Okay, not it's not gonna it's not um divertido okay fun is yeah what does it mean of fun fun is the one that is divertido, divertido. divertido. so this is like more like chistoso oh. and this is more divertido okay so don't confuse those two the, those two um adjectives because if you confuse them, then it's gonna it's gonna be difficult for you to make a sentence that makes sense. So, funny, chistoso, fun, divertido. Like if you go to, for example, a movie. Let's say you're going to watch uh, the Fast and the Furious twenty. Okay, because uh, <laughs> okay. So let's uh, let's say that it goes um, that you have uh, the Fast and the Furious twenty, and you go to the movies and you say, "Wow, that movie was." Would you say the movie was funny? Not really, maybe fun. That movie was fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We wouldn't say really funny. And that's because basically in Fast and the Furious, it's not ha 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 fun, right? Like it's, <laughs> you know, you don't go to that movie to laugh. You go to the movie because you want to have fun. You want to enjoy it. That's, that's probably the best word. So um, in that case, you can say the movie was fun because you enjoyed it. Now, if you go to an Adam Sandler movie, then it would be different. Um, an Adam Sandler movie would be probably, um, it would be funny. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So yes. How can we Sorry. use it? Uh, which one? Funny to, compare, or funny? to compare something that it's fun. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's that's my next. That's what the next thing I was going to show you was uh, how we compare these two. So we just first we have to understand uh, what the the adjectives are that they are different adjectives and that they mean different things. Now, in the case of the of funny, to make it a comparative, the first thing we got to do is eliminate that y, right? That's what we're going to do, yep. right? Right, guys. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we eliminate the Y. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, what do we, if we eliminate the Y, what, what do we have to put? What letter? Instead of the Y, we put? I. I, very good. And then? E. Yes. R. R, good, exactly. So we end up with funnier. Okay, funny. that's the comparative oh. of funny. It's funnier. Okay. In the oh, case, yeah. in the case of fun, how do we compare fun? Well, if you notice this uh, adjective is one syllable and it finishes in one vowel and one consonant. That means that we're gonna double the consonant, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna double yeah. the consonant okay. consonant. So we're going to end up with double N and then, and then, and then after the double consonant, we put what letters? I, E, R. E, R, exactly. There you go. So there you go. That's the way that we compare. So the comparison, the, the sorry, the comparative of funny is funnier, and the comparative of fun is funner. Funny. Okay? okay? Got it? I never hear that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That was a good tip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I, I needed to show it to you on the whiteboard because it, when you see it, you understand the difference and you understand why it's spelled like that. So both of them have double N, but for different reasons. This one because the, sorry, uh, this one has a double N because the verb, or sorry, the adjective 
orig originally had a double N, okay? But in the case of funnier, sorry, of funner, uh, we have a double N because this one follows the rule of one syllable, one vowel, one consonant. So there are different reasons why we have a double N. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're yes. welcome. All right. Um, anything else? I guess not for now. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, well, uh, anything else uh, I can help you with? Just um, call me back. But I think we're, gonna we're actually going to go back to the main session very soon. Okay. Okay. Thank All right. You. Okay. Hi guys, everything okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, you lost the number? Um, I think uh, Denise uh, can get out. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess he, he left for some reason. Okay. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to go back to the main room right okay. now. Okay, okay teacher, yeah, thank you. Bye. Okay, we're just going to wait for everybody to come back. Okay. All right, guys. So I think um, I think the majority are back here already. Um, any questions that you guys I, have? With in on this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models. No questions. And turns. No questions. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. No. So okay. we all make so we all understood um, how to compare and how to ask for, uh, as Roberta said, how to, um, how to agree with the, with the comparatives and anything. It's all clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, good, excellent. All right, guys. Um, so uh, by the way, how are we doing with the platform? Were we able to um, see the information uh, from the platform yesterday? Are you guys able to do that? Yes, yes no? No, no just turning. Yeah. No, you didn't do you didn't do anything. Um, but uh, you guys are you are though uh, a finishing. Let me see. Well, yeah, finishing um, section number two, somewhere around there. Are you guys all yes, finished? Something. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Almost, yeah. Any questions about Almost. the platform? No. Now's the moment to ask questions because that's the idea of these classes too. Not only to practice, but to ask questions when something in the platform is not very clear 
uh, it's not about me giving you the answers, right? It's not, it's not like, um, okay, teacher, I'm having problems with this, give me the answer. No, but it is, um, but if, if you're having problems with it, I can help you and I can remind you, okay, so the, the problem is this, you have to do this and you have to do that. Uh, something, uh, what I was telling you last time, um, just wanted to remind you, is that um, the platform is very sensitive with um, the punctuation, correct punctuation, correct spelling, um, uh, what else? Yeah, correct punctuation, spelling. Um, the space the space. the words. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> that, that, that too, yeah, thank you. So some of you have probably- Yeah, space and, uh, <laughs> yeah the space and the finish on when you start the sentence. Sorry? Yeah, you gotta put a point at the, at the end of the sentence, right? Exactly, you gotta put the period, <laughs> exactly. You gotta put it. Now, it, it may look a little tedious and go, oh, you know, why do I have to, you know, why is it wrong just because there's not a period there? Well, the yeah. thing is, that, you know, um, that's the correct, it, that's how we spell in English. We, um, it's very important for us to spell correctly. So um, they're going to ask for the, the period. They're going to ask for the commas if you need it. They're going to ask for the apostrophes. All of that is very important. Okay. Um, so make sure right. that you are always uh, using the periods, using the commas, using the apostrophes, capital letters, spaces. Be careful with spaces. If a, there, for example, if there's supposed to be only one space and you put two, it's going to mark it wrong. You're going to say, why, teacher? But you know, I have the correct answer. Yes, the answer is correct. The problem is how you typed it in was incorrect. So you got to be careful with that. Sometimes it's um, that's the problem. Okay. Anything else that you guys want to ask about? Anything from the platform I can help you with? No. No, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you guys for a favor. If at some moment you are doing an exercise and you encounter a problem and you don't understand what's the problem, I want you to put in the chat, teach them how to with this exercise. And what I'll do is I will actually uh, use my time during the class to look at that sentence and help you out, okay? Uh, that's what the chat is for, right? For you guys to be able to answer any questions, uh, sorry, ask any questions and for me to help you answer those questions, okay? Um, Thank Yeah. And what about if, if in some cases we have some questions about grammar, but it's not specifically with, with the topic about we're talking about, about we're talking. But um, if sometimes we have some, pro some uh, doubt about some sentences, can we ask you? Absolutely, yeah, uh, for sure. Um, that's what the, the platform is there for, for me to help you. I am your okay. teacher, so I can help you with anything has to do with English, I can help you. Something else, okay. well, I, I probably won't be able to help you, but. But English, yes, okay? So anything has to do with English, I will okay. okay? Now, the only thing okay. I will apologize ahead of time is that I may not be able to answer immediately. And it's simply because if okay. I'm at work, you know, if I'm doing my work hours, uh, I won't be able to be looking at my, my cell phone to uh, look at the WhatsApp group. But I will make sure that I do answer your question as soon as possible okay sounds good guys okay thank you okay. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. okay any questions that you guys have at this moment no 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 it's no okay so please fine. don't be shy and uh, don't be shy to ask questions that's what the, the chat is made for okay for questions the more okay. questions the better i love questions because uh, questions mm, tells me that you are interested in learning, that you're interested in investigating and finding out and, and improving. So that's good. I really appreciate that. 
And even if I don't know the answer, sometimes I won't know the answer because obviously I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. So if, if I don't have, know the answer, then I can investigate. And so that's what I'm saying. I, I love questions because even when you ask a question and I don't know it, then I learn too. So go ahead. Yeah, ask any question you want. Okay. Um, all right. There's something else in section, well, actually, uh, basically with all with uh, section one and two, we're pretty much done. Okay, so uh, all of like the information you really need to know for sections one and two, we've already covered in class. So you should, with no problem, be able to complete sections one and two. The other, the other parts of the section are mostly like uh, listenings and readings. So, you know, that's pretty much just something that is accumulative, right? Your listening skills, your reading skills, that's more accumulative, okay? Now, we're going to be starting in uh, section number three. And for section number three, um, we're gonna be looking at asking questions like for requests, like when you are, um, you are asking somebody for help, you are making asking them for a favor, et cetera, et cetera. So for that, I'm gonna show you my PowerPoint here. And let me know when you can see it. We can see now. Yeah? Yeah, we can see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So um in English, there are a few ways that you can um, that you can ask questions, right, or, or make requests. Now, the most direct way is, um, <laughs> for example, the one that you see here at the top, right? It's easier to say, "Can I borrow your pencil?" Right? So we're using here a model, "Can." Okay, um, that's probably the most direct way to ask for a favor. Okay, can I borrow your pencil? Um, can you help me? Can you, um, can you give me a, a lift to the, to the bus station, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So normally we, uh, we would go directly. And if you notice, it says here less formal, and over here we have more formal. And you will also notice that the, the more formal you go, the more words you have. Do you notice that? So less formal, yes, you have when... can. But more formal, it's I was wondering if you mind. So notice Let the me. more words you have, the more formal it sounds. Yeah? Does that make sense yes, for everybody? Yes. Yes, yes, it makes okay. sense. Yeah. All right, excellent. Now, um, now, like I was saying, um, can is probably, if you're going to be talking to your friend or your family, you're going to say can, usually. Can you do me this favor? Can blah, 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 okay? Now, if you want to sound a little bit more formal, though, then it's a little more formal to say could. That's an auto, another model, but um, you would say could instead because this sounds a little bit more formal. It's actually, this is very similar to what happens in Spanish too. In Spanish, this would be like, puedo prestar tu eh, lápiz? O, o, ajá. O me podrías prestar tu lápiz? O versa, ajá, pues, puedes prestarme tu lápiz. Okay? So, and this would be more like podrías. Right, which sounds a little more formal than just puedes. Puedes prestarme blah, blah, blah. Podrías prestarme blah, blah, blah. So that, it sounds a little more formal, right? The podría sounds more formal than eh, puedes, right? Right. Okay, so the same idea, okay? This is exactly the same in English. Uh, so this is using um, the, the models, right? If you notice it says here, request with models, it pluses and gerunds. So here we're talking with about models, can and could. Now, another way that we can make a request is using if clauses. If clauses is simply when you have um, the condition or we use the conditional with the if. So you say, for example, is it okay 
if, do you mind if, would it be okay if, would you mind if, I wonder if, I was wondering if, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so every time we have the word if here, um, if you notice after if, you're gonna have um, just simply the, the condition, right? Okay, so the condition is I use your phone. Okay, that's your Teacher, I have a question, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, in the sentence, would you mind letting, it is not necessary to add if. Would you mind lending? Letting me use your laptop? Oh, no, no, no. I will explain that in a moment. I will explain okay. it in a moment. So every time you have if, that means that the answer is gonna be yes or no, okay? So is it okay if I use your phone? Yes, it's okay. No, it's not okay, okay? So every time you use the word if, it means that the answer is gonna be yes or no, yeah? All right, so um, yeah, and if you notice after if, we use just the subject, just like with the models. We use can I, could you, if I, if I, if I, if I, not actually all of them are if, or if I except for this one, if you, okay? All right, now, so that's the, with the if clauses. Now, it's also possible to use a gerund. Which one is a gerund? I'm actually going to. Wondering. Um, actually, no, this one, that one's actually not a gerund. That's the present participle. Who can identify the gerunds for me? There are actually two sentences in this that contain the gerunds. Maybe the one which says, would you mind letting me use your laptop? And okay. I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. Yeah, very good, exactly, that's what it is. So if you notice, I have letting, and in this one I have lending, okay? So I have two gerunds here. Now, if you notice, what do they both have in common? Let's see who, who can identify. It's the verb mine. Right? Sorry? It's the verb mine. Exactly. The, the thing that they have in common, very good, is precisely that both of them before have the word mind. Oops. Yeah. Let's, I want to change the color. So we have, would you mind? I was wondering if you'd mind. Okay. Yeah. So here, um, uh, yeah. So um, here you are after mind, we would have to always use a gerund. So would yeah. you mind letting me use your laptop? Would you mind? helping me out. Would you mind watching my, my dog uh, while I go on vacation? Um, I was wondering if you'd lend me some money. Sorry, yeah, if you'd mind lending me some money. Uh, I was wondering if you'd mind waiting for me for 15 more minutes, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so after mind, we're gonna be using the gerund. That is only after mind. Now here we have, I wonder, and here said, I wondering. Now the difference though is um, that here in this one, you're gonna be using the, the if clause. Okay. So I wonder if, but if you notice in this one, there's no if, okay? So these ones use the, the if clause, okay? 
but this one doesn't. Okay, if you'd mind. Well, there, well, it does have the if clause, but it's not directly after the, it's not, um, or I better said after, after the if clause, we have another verb, which is mind. That's the difference. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know if I'm mistaken. Um, in the in the third from under to up uh would you mind letting me use your laptop i don't know if i'm mistaken but i think it we don't use if because we're not doing the actions the the person is going to let me use your his his laptop i imagine i don't know if i'm mistaken in the um, other this is, this is going a request. To do the actions. okay this is a request, so it's not it's not something they're obligated to do. It's a request only. Yeah. Okay. So um, you say it's like when you speak Spanish. Um, Te importaría uh, dejarme usar tu yeah. laptop? Yeah. We're, we're receiving I can say the action, no. right? I I can say no. I that's not, I'm not obligated to say yes. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, teacher. No? Okay. And one more thing I wanted to um, show you, explain to you is this. Um, I want you to notice that here I'm using borrowed in the past, just like picked, I'm using in the past. Okay. Now I could say, would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? That would be okay. I can eliminate the ED. I can eliminate the simple past. But to make it a little bit more formal, we use the simple past. Okay, just like this one. Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? That's okay too. But if you want to make it more formal, we put the simple past. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So. Um, what I'd like you to do for homework is I want you to choose five of these structures here, five of them, uh, and I want you to make sentences with them, okay? I want you to think about what, a, what uh, requests you would ask from a friend, from a classmate from a teacher from your boss and from your um sorry sorry a okay. friend family teacher boss what was the other one so you said friend, classmate, teacher, boss, yeah. and family. Friend, classmate, teacher, boss, and what was the other one? Oh, co-worker. Co and your co-worker. Okay. So I'll repeat. What request would you make from a friend? What request would you make from a, um, a family member? Right. What request classmate? would you make from your teacher? From your a boss and from a co-worker okay so i want you to use remember the more the the, the further down we go the more formal it gets okay. okay so any questions about that no 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 okay all right guys um so that will be all for today uh and like i said you have already enough information to complete section 22. So please, um, I really, really, really cannot stress the importance of doing that early, um, have that finished because you should be doing the midterm around, um, yeah, around um, early next week. Around this time next week, you should be already with the, the, the midterm, okay? All right. Any questions? Okay. No. I, I have okay. one. 
All right, Thanks. guys, it's been a pleasure seeing you guys again. Um, remember, any questions, just write them down in the WhatsApp and I will help you. Okay. okay? Take care, guys. Have a wonderful night. You too, okay. teacher. Thank, Thank you. Teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. 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 See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.